Last year, I made a video about $10 caviar, and it had some predictable results. So how will I react to $5 caviar? The label says Plaza Black Kaplan Row. And it says it's packed and processed in Iceland. Now I know that usually the best caviar is from sturgeon. I have no idea what a black Kaplan is. Let's open it up, shall we? Okay. Oh, that's rancid. It's kind of like you're smelling an old tire filled with a dead fish. Now something that I notice, these fish eggs are so much smaller than caviar I've seen before. I do wonder if the cheaper the caviar you get, the, the smaller the fish eggs. I wonder if that is something that they look for. Ugh, it just made a really disgusting noise as I put the spoon in there. I can do this. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Oh, nope, I can't. This smells worse than the $10 caviar that I tried. Let's just get it over with. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, that is foul. That is way worse than the $10 caviar. It's a lot saltier. Oh. Unlike the caviar I tried before, which its eggs were a lot bigger, these were so small I actually didn't get the sensation of having a lot of eggs in my mouth, it just tasted like mush. So it was like fishy, salty, rubbery, disgusting mush. It's like I licked the underside of a ship that's been out to sea for 70 years. This is what I kind of imagine SpongeBob tasting like. I still don't get it. People pay hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for the world's best caviar and I hope that it gets better as you pay more, but after the two times that I've tried cheap caviar, it doesn't make me excited to go out and pay several hundred dollars for fish eggs. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for new exciting content posted every Friday. Also, don't forget to hit the bell button so you'll be the first to know whenever a new Clancy Studios video comes out.